Dubious and this is by Hobby World Inc and it is not yet available but will be soon so you get kind of a sneak peek of the game and the gameplay. It is a social deduction card game and <laughs> a sort of logic and deduction game similar to games like Spyfall and um, Awkward Guess where you have, we have all have some hidden components here and a score sheet where we'll be tracking our answers as well as trying to gauge answers that other players are giving and determine what their occupation is and what their secret is. So to start, we'll each get a choice of two occupations and a choice of two secrets. We're kind of role playing and adjusting our answers to different questions to let just some of the other players know who we are and uh, not everyone don't make it too obvious or you'll get no points and the highest scoring winner it's highest scoring person is the winner and <laughs> that's how we play uh anything else to know about the rule any questions first before we dig into it what's going on how's not everyone feeling yet. not yet <laughs> I'll get it as i go <laughs> and so we have some newer gamers here so uh and some veteran gamers so Alicia, you'd say, have you played a game like this before? There was that one, what was it called again? You played Awkward Guess, right? Yes. Yes, one. okay. So I had a similar because we were deducing what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. What about you, Danielle? I think a few. If you like this, mm -hmm. yeah. So another social deduction game might be Werewolf, right? It's true. Where you're trying to figure out who's who. Hidden roles, when there's hidden roles, that's a big category in different games. Max has played a ton with us. Resistance. Oh, yeah. Dune Betrayal. All sorts of things. But they're always so much fun trying to figure out everyone's positions, considering everyone we play with always has weird tips and tells trying uh -huh, to figure out what uh -huh. they're trying to use for those particular games. It's always the fun. And we'll be kind of dropping hints as to who we are and what our secret is as we're answering different questions through the game. Uh... What about you, Rebecca? Are you have you played games a lot? Not at all. It's kind of a new thing. Um, not games like this. I'm yeah. More like classic ones, like Monopoly. And stuff okay. Like that less complicated. The game yeah. that will take several days. Yeah. And <laughs> being thrown. I love Monopoly. <laughs> to each their own. There's you know there's a game for everyone out there. I personally you, play with. you want to play my, only my, play right oh gosh, newer so Animal cute. Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing Monopoly. <laughs> wow. Alicia's like, where's that game been all my life? <laughs> Why didn't you show me that before? What the hell? I have three different Monopoly games. I'm pretty sure you got more than three. I think I saw at least three when we moved. Probably. <laughs> all right. Are you going to do a top down at all, Michael, or not really? Uh, I'll probably go back no. and forth. Okay, okay. So I'm going to take, we have the occupation cards here. And actually, each of us have a list of all of the available occupations that will help us when deducing who is who. So there's 14 different ones. There's a mailman, tailor, admiral, baker, capitalist, poet, mechanic, constable, newsboy, private investigator, coachman, chemist, magician, and explorer. I'm going to give everyone two occupations. Why is there no nurse? Well, because there are actually three different um, scenarios. So you're like going to have the... Different worlds? Yeah, you have the, the orange yeah. one, there's a red one, and a blue one. And so you're going to have 14 on each of the different types, secrets and occupations. But there's three different ones of these guys. So you actually pull these these things here. You're actually pulling these off and putting different ones on when mm -hmm. you want to change it up. And so there probably is a nurse, actually. Let me look for one. <laughs> well, it's not on there. It would be on... A different card? Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> now everyone has two occupations and two secrets. On our sheets, we're going to write down which one is our real occupation and which one we don't want to use. So there's, well, I'll show you first. So there's a check mark, that's the one you want to use. X is the one you don't. So just write, write down which one you want and your name at the top. And then that will be what we're going after. Remember though, when you choose, you choose one of each type and you'll write it down the one you want on the top left for your, um, for your identity and the one you don't want on the, the top left on the right hand side. What hands do you have? 
And the question is, what hands do you have? You gotta describe your hands. And remember, when you are writing the answers, you want people to know, kind of know what you are, but you also yes. don't want them to know. Mm -hmm. So you, you're trying to give people a clue, and you want that clue to be similar to other occupations. So look at the other occupation too. See if there are a few that your answer could also match. Right. Some questions will work towards your occupation and others will work towards your secrets. All the cards are available from the occupations and secrets. You know what you are so you can mm -hmm. rule those out. Right. And you also know what you're not so you can also mm -hmm. rule those out. So when you're guessing for other people in these areas here, ignore those numbers. So if you had mailman number one, then you wouldn't actually have to ever write number one down for anybody's identity. Mm -hmm. All right, is everyone ready with their answer to the first question, which is, what hands do you have? Okay, I'll, I'll go first. I say I am very good with my hands, but they are not calloused. I am very good with my hands, but they are not calloused. And so, Callie just answered that. So you're going to look at your area where Callie is, and then you're going to take a, num a guess based on one of those numbers there. So if you think it's number 10, then you can put that number down. Exactly. So, And you do the same thing, Max, top left. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what it would be for her. You want to make sure not to give away too so much. Your, give away a little bit, but not too much. And so the people who are answer, guessing don't want it either. So our yeah. answer is what it is and what it's not. Uh, just what for you? What what number you think she is? So no, what, our answer for our own que question. The question is you try and answer it as best as you can. But so, we don't have to say what it is and what it's not, like she did necessarily. Oh no, no! Okay. I was just giving more can information. I write multiple numbers. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can write like six dash four dash three, can, and you because you're trying to figure it out. You'll get more opportunity for those numbers, though. Yep. There's five questions total, so we'll get more information. All right. And you guys already wrote a number down on the top left where Kelly is for her identity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then right. Alicia's next. Good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm very descriptive, as you can tell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the whole I don't even know for it. <laughs> you want people to guess, but not everyone to guess. And if no one guesses, that's also not good. What can I say? I'm good with my hands. Alright. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe that. Uh... <laughs> and if you want, Max, you can actually turn your board so the camera can see it. Just so they can see the occupation. Alright, everyone good? Ready? Ready? Yeah. Max, what's your answer to the question? Callous and warm. Mm. Alright. How's it going? Everyone good? Yeah. Alright, Rebecca, you're up. I have callous hands. That's, That's all you've given us? Everyone in their callous hands. That's the same thing you said. I didn't know they were going to say that. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's all that came to mind. Uh, is it possible for somebody to have the same occupation as me, or is only no. one? No. Uh -huh. So yeah. there's one of each. So that's why you know with the two that you had, the two cards mm -hmm. you got, those are eliminated. No one else can okay. be those. So that helps a little bit mm -hmm. with the deduction. Mm -hmm. All right, ready for the next question? Do you want to read the question? Sure. Where would you go right now? Where would you go right now? Hmm. You you guess based on what you guess based on what you think they're trying to give you an answer, and this the last one was obviously for identity, right? Mm -hmm. But the next one maybe your secret is you um you ride a cow 
<laughs> and you're also a cowboy, so maybe you'll say something like, I don't know, if the question was like, are you happy? You could say, whenever, whenever I'm out on the fields, I am. And that applies to both. That, that's a terrible example, but it's an example. Mm -hmm. So oh, everyone's gosh. writing their answer for the question. Where would you go right now? And giving some clues about their occupation and or their secret without giving it away totally. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, won't get any points. You want some people to guess, but not everyone. That, that's similar to Dix, Dixit, right? Yes. Yes. See, that's why I like giving answers that can either be occupations or secrets. Mm -hmm. So it's having that nice balance between the two where some answers can end up being both. All right. Alicia, you go first this time. I would go into the outdoors and on trails. Okay. So we're looking for what occupations that might fit and or what secrets. All right, Max, your turn. To my happy place. You would go mm. to your happy place. I hope we're going to be able to guess yours. <laughs> <laughs> that really helps. I know. But that's the best part is uh, mine works for occupations and secrets. Ooh. Yeah, well, you can't say that. And you can't say that. You just have to very vague. Mm. I made mine a little more vague. This is why I wanted to at least give that. Yeah, do that. No. Nope. Yeah. Can't say about it. Rebecca, where would you go right now? Somewhere private where I could control who was in the room. Oh, okay. Are we ready for the next question? All right, so Danielle's going to answer, where would you go right now? Give us clues about her occupations and secrets, hopefully. Go for it. Um, wherever the next assignment calls me. Mm. That's useful. Yeah, that's good information. I like that. That could be multiple things. That's, that's, and that's why it's kind of like Spyfall in that way. In this way, what could Danielle's occupation, what could her secret be? Oh man, you're picking a lot of numbers right. down there. <laughs> I think we all are <laughs> doing a lot. The instructions only show like one number per yeah, each side. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, the most I've done. Oh yeah, seen. okay, there's quite a few numbers going on. <laughs> okay, and me, where would I go right now? I would pull up the hood of my cloak and go to the museum. Yours is almost like very pointed. <laughs> Don't say, because it might not be. Mm -hmm. That's why I say almost, because there, there's some holes to it. Ready for the next question? Yes. Okay, Max, you go. All right. What do you wear? What hmm. do you wear? <laughs> you came no. some of that. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. All right, start begin with whoever. Max, read the question, you go. All right. Comfortable and functionable. Functional? Functionable. Okay. Functionable. <laughs> well, maybe it's like a particular Literally reason. <laughs> it only hurts you if you don't get somebody to guess, so. Yeah, you, want, you need at least one person to guess, and hopefully more, you get more points that way. So we get points when people guess... What yes, do. but you'll lose points if everyone guesses uh, it. Or you won't okay. get any points. Okay. There's no limit to the length of your answer either. Uh, so you could be, you could kind of role play a little bit, get into it, tell a story, and drop, you know, I little don't know hints what throughout. Is. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we still have a couple more questions. Me. So. I wear eye-catching colors, and I make sure that they're labeled. Mm -hmm. All right, go. Okay. I like to wear loose clothing along with capes and cloaks. Only two more questions. Rebecca, would you like to, but or you want me to? Yeah. Yeah, you did. You started. No, no I started. Oh, 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 sorry. Yes, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, I wear protective clothing. Okay. 
Now we only have two questions left. <laughs> Go ahead. What's the next question? Your home is broken into. What are you going to do? Hmm. Is this a, a, an either or one? I think everyone can be either or. Yeah, all of them can be either or. Or both. Or both, yeah. Um, how do I make it not so obvious? This is why I was... <laughs> <You're> not, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I'm like... I don't want to be too vague, and I don't want to be too obvious. That's the That's challenge the game. of the game. I know, <laughs> but it's like one or the other. I can't do in between. You how do you beat around the bush? I don't know how to do that. That's why they're saying you can kind of tell more of a story. I mean, yeah, if you're I listening to how to. Callie does it, she does it pretty vague. Mm-hmm. It could be mul- I, I've heard hers, and they could be multiples. The yeah. <laughs> only person I know for sure is Callie. Well, I'm fairly certain. But I could be wrong, because there are two others. So unless she's, like, being tricky. <laughs> All right, everyone has their answer for what? Oh, wait. Your home is broken into. What are you going to do? Pull out my sword. <laughs> we'll start with Rebecca, your question. Beat them with something I use for work or call them to be punished? Okay. I um. to be punished. <laughs> <laughs> um... Max, what was your answer for the last one? What do you wear? You Comfortable can. and oh, right. functional. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we gotta no. play a true game. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> Danielle, uh, your home, your home is being broken into. What are you going to do? It's honestly fine because I was gonna sell my stuff and move anyway. Um. Hmm. Okay. I am going to remain quiet. Maybe difficult for me to do. Hide. And then later after they're gone, make sure they didn't take too much. I still have some some hidden valuables available. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Yeah. <laughs> this round of is very what? uh You're lucky I'm not playing Cali. <laughs> no, it's good. I, I want some people to guess, just not everyone. Yep. The more people you get to guess, the more points you get. All right, you're up. Unleash the beasts. <laughs> <laughs> that works. That's, that's, that works. Get him. Get him. Get him. Be- unleash the beast. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. My good beast. Get her, get her in the face. She loves it. She loves it. Okay. What about you, Max? If your home is being broken into, what do you do? Call the cop. Call the cops and then go to sleep where I work. Okay. <laughs> and there's only one question left. Yes. Oh, no. So it's going to be a good one. Yeah, be more descriptive if you're nervous that people won't get yours. Uh-huh. Or that some people won't get it. Final question. Danielle gets to <laughs> read it aloud. It ends with a preposition, but what have you been rewarded for? What have you been rewarded for? Okay. A few things all over the place, but I forgot specifics. I've been rewarded for my skill and spectacle earned by my own hard work. Um, my craftsmanship and uh, controlling the beasts. The quality of my craft. Oh, goodness. When we guess, can we guess more than one occupation or just one? No, just one. One one occupation, one secret. You'll have a minute to think through it, too. Okay. Rebecca! Dear. (laughs) Connecting people and providing things for people to take to a party. 
Alright, alright. Okay, that's everyone's answer. So we have a minute to look through all of our numbers and notes and try to put in our final guess. And my suggestion is you go to each person down the line, find the most likely numbers, the most likely number based on the amount. So if you have 11, 11, 10, and 1, it's probably 11. If not, take your best guess. Remember, though, that it's not your numbers, so hopefully you never wrote your number down because that wouldn't make any sense. It's not going to be the four numbers at the top or the four things yeah. at the top of your board. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I never even wrote a number for Callie. <laughs> no! <laughs> Callie's honestly was, like, the hardest one mm. for me to actually think of. Yeah. Random number. I thought hers was the really? easiest. Yeah, okay, good. Agreed. <laughs> no, for your secret, I did not rate a single number. Oh, I don't know if I have a secret. I have to, I'd have to look at them. I wrote less secrets than occupations, mm. but... Mm. Yeah, no, for her, definitely for her secrets, it's... Yeah, just your best guess, otherwise. And once you guys have got them all down... We'll move on to the final round of scoring. And re revealing and scoring. And uh, we'll go with Callie first, and we'll okay. just go around in a circle there. Okay. Right. So I reveal what I am. Um, is that what it says? Okay. In the very bo bottom left of your screen there. Scoring. Re Choose take turn player. revealing. Yep. Yeah. All take players turn. take turns announcing their guests first. No, you don't reveal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, get, uh, take their turns guessing regarding the player's occupation and secret. Then the chosen player reveals. So after you all take your guess, you reveal, and then players are going to score based on the scoring method on the right-hand side of your screen. So okay, go so ahead and begin. So start with Callie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you're going to guess Callie. Her occupation and secret. I did not write a number for your secret, so I just... Put a random one. Yep. Six. Hides your noble birth. And what's, what's the other one you picked? What's her... Uh, magician. Okay. okay. Magician and leading a double life. Magician and hides your noble birth. <laughs> I said magician and kleptomaniac. I am a magician, yeah. and I am trying to hide my noble birth. Oh, oh, that was such a random guess. <laughs> did, did anybody not guess magician? No. Okay. So, oh. uh, if yeah, because everybody guessed yours, you don't score any for your occupation, Callie. Oh, okay. But you get one point for each player who guessed your secret correctly. So, both of you guys? Okay, so I got two points. <laughs> and for everyone else, you're going to get one point for each one that you got correct. So if you got her identity and her secret, you get two points. I'm going to put it up there at the top. You got both, didn't you? So do I write yeah. two? Yeah, you yeah, got a magician, two. right? Yeah. Yeah, magician, and you got her. Yep. So that's correct. Two points. Yeah, mine was either the. I don't say. Oh, okay. Now, now it's, now it's I'm your turn. I'm trying to hide it with the kleptomania. <laughs> and uh, you're going to um, be the person. So you guys are all going to guess hers, Alicia's. So Max, begin. All right. So for yours, I guess you're a mechanic that uh, has pet snakes. Yeah. No, don't no, say. Oh. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I guess that you are an explorer with pet snakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guessed chemist with pet snakes. I bet I guessed a mechanic with pet snakes. Okay, so you will not score anything for pet snakes because I've already got that. <laughs> but you are a mechanic, right? So how many people pick mechanic? No. no. Meaning two. Like. So you get two points. And then everybody else who got mechanic and pet snakes, you'll score one or two points there. Should I just put zero if I didn't get any? Correct. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we're doing max. So you're going to be the one who starts. Start off the guessing. Okay. I guess you were a mechanic and you were fired from your job. I guessed a baker that was constructing a submarine. I guessed a tailor who is a counterfeiter, feeder. How do you counterfeit? Counterfeiter. counterfeiter. I guessed a tailor who is absent-minded. All right. I was a tailor who is constructing a submarine. Oh. So, how many people pick tailor, and how many people pick submarine? So you get three points, 
And everybody else gets one point for each guess they got right. Oh, okay. All right. Now we're on to her. So, Danielle, we'll start. Um, I guessed a chemist who holds spiritual seances. I guessed a baker who holds spiritual seances. We're guessing Rebecca? Yes. Um, I guessed a baker who attends a brothel. <laughs> and I also guessed for a baker who attends a brothel. I am a baker who attends spiritual seances, or I hold spiritual seances. Did everyone get baker? No. Okay, so that's three points plus, what's the other one, seances? Yeah. How yeah. many people did seances? Okay, so you need five. five points. Whoa. Good. good job. I wanted to say that, like, I give people, like, food to take to the Yeah, that was really, like, the last one was what it was hard. helped me get it, yeah. All right. Okay, Okay. okay. Danielle, <laughs> I'm guessing that you're an admiral who is absent-minded. I guess you're a chemist who leads a double life. I guess that you're an admiral who was fired from the job. I guess you were a private investigator and you lead a double life. I am a coachman that's absent-minded. Oh, no. <laughs> No one gets that. Oh, I got, I got absent-minded. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. So, one. So, yeah, one point. <laughs> I get one. Okay. And then that's it, right? We tally, tally them up. Six points. I don't think I won. Are you having you got a lot seven. of them? I got five. I got seven. For that one. I got seven oh, points as well. I got six. I got eight. <laughs> oh, yeah, one. barely. Kind six? Of. Yeah. Six, seven, seven, eight, five. and five. Uh -huh. oh, I was really close. Yeah. So yeah. the least points wins. Yes. <laughs> the least points yeah. is the winner. You Sorry, get the Cal. Special Cal. Cal always I cheats, so win. she loses she two points, points just on principle. That's true. I didn't cheat. So I, I, got got zeros for I am not a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the go. game dubious. Uh, cool. So we, yeah, we got to, I like, we don't really get to show the art too, but we got a little magician and I'm hiding my crown, hiding my noble birth. <laughs> These are, they're cute. The art on there is cute. Yeah, I like the little art. And the screen has some guys. good art too. Alicia, the secret I put down was the brothel one. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, who are, someone's not going to choose that one if they get it. Yeah. Are you kidding me? That would be a lot of fun to sit there and try to like work that one around. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> I think everyone did pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I got people to guess some of the, at least one thing. Uh, would you play it again? Would you want to share it with certain people, et cetera? Um... It's really hard for me to beat around the bush. <laughs> so I feel like I often am like, let me just give you the answer or like, let me not give you the answer at all. So yeah. it's really hard for me to describe something without being really direct. Maybe it's a good game for people who do have a little bit of experience or want to practice their like role playing and creativity skills. Go ahead, Max. I really enjoy this game. It's fast, it's easy to pick up. The fact that you can be very, very specific and also extremely vague in the same bit I love. Just because messing with people's heads has always been fun. <laughs> I, I really liked it. Yeah. I, would, I would play it with a group of people at like a party because I agree with you. It's fun to mess with people's heads and be like, hmm, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. It has been a pastime for me since I've been a kid. <laughs> So, better than Monopoly. Great. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and that was long. I've never played Monopoly. And nowhere near as yep. angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For sure. I liked it. I feel like games like this are more fun the second time when you get the hang of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd play it again. Agreed. Mm -hmm. I think this would be great it, for families especially, young kids, kind of develop their skills of, of how to tell a short little story and put in clues and pick up on others, what others are communicating and using their skills of d deduction as well. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Knowing that Josh is a teacher and our, you know, resident <laughs> teacher for that, 
getting this kind of a game into the theater classes would be yeah, the absolutely theater. amazing. Yeah, for Actually sure. doing some role playing, getting into your character. Characterizing your D&D <laughs> a little bit. Which I do every Friday, and yes, 100% <laughs> <Yeah. right. laughs> And D&D, other role playing games. all mm-hmm. the time. Yeah. And you can check out the link in the pinned comment and or description if you want to learn more about the game. Maybe sign up to see when it's coming out. Thank you guys for watching the Unfiltered Gamer live stream. I guess, Michael, do you want to join in? You want me to close out? Oh, uh, you can close out. Thank you so much for playing, guys. Hope you had some fun. <laughs> if there's still like, yes, the link's down below. Make sure you're on YouTube now. Yes, I'll do all the, all the things. Uh, check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We have blog posts, blog reviews, and giveaways on there for board games, just like this one. And every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST, we play games um, and have fun <laughs> with different people all the time. Every, yeah, Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook and on sometimes on Twitch. And you'll see that video the next day on YouTube as well. And Moonshell, unfilteredgames.com. You can pick up your copy of Moonshell if you didn't join the Kickstarter. So if you're late to the game, definitely check that out. We have a whole store as well as with t-shirts on it now. You can pick those up as well. Here it is. And this is the yeah, game. Yeah, that's my game, Moonshell. All of the copies of Moonshell. It's the mermaid game. It's so fun. It's amazing. All about collecting seashells and getting different patterns of different colors and shapes of seashells to score lots of points. So. New game in the next couple, coming months here we're going to have. Yes, and there's a hint about a uh, new upcoming game we'll be doing on Kickstarter very shortly. Oh, and also this one over here is going to be stuck doing streams with us. For oh, now. yeah. Yeah, we'll see Alicia a little more often now. Oh, every Sunday. <laughs> every Sunday. <laughs> Are you excited? Oh, yeah. That's the answer. We, we've written it into uh, the contract, the roommate uh-huh. contract, <laughs> that you have to play games. And, That's part of the deal. And hopefully things have quieted down for me, so I'll be able to come back and be in person more often in the last couple months. Awesome, awesome. Everyone, stay safe out there. Stay healthy. We wish you a happy new year. Thank you, guys. Okay, you know you know what we do. Kind of. See you guys next time. Bad idea, okay. We'll Maybe see this you guys time next we'll time. Do it right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys, so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing see you guys, guys next time. time. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad.